Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Today, guys, we're going to look at recording journal entries from the Accounting Unit 1 2021 paper, and that is question 1D. We begin by looking at the question, and the question reads, VM Corp reported the following amounts in the shareholders equity section of its December 2018 statement of financial position. 10% preferred share, no par value, 100,000 authorized shares, but they have sold 20,000 shares and the value is $200,000. Common shares, $200 par value, 100,000 shares authorized to be sold. However, they have sold 20,000 shares and the value is 400,000. Contributed capital in excess of par, which is the share premium, otherwise known as paid in capital, is $50,000. Retained earnings is $675,000. During 2019, the following transactions took place concerning shareholders' equity, and you are required to prepare journal entries without narratives to record the transactions in 2019. And we are going to begin by taking a look at the first transaction, which is January 15, 2019. And uh, it reads, January 15, 2019, the annual dividend on the preferred shares and a $15 per share dividend on common shares were paid. These dividends were declared on 23rd of December, 2018. Now, based on this, we have to pull some information relating to the particular shares. And we're gonna begin by looking at the preference shares first. Now, in terms of the preference shares, there are, 10% preferred share, no par, and the value is 200,000. This 10%, this 10% indicates the dividend rate, the rate to be paid out on preference shares for dividend. And we're gonna use that along with the value to prepare our journal entries. And uh, we are gonna move into the journal and that is January 15th. The account to be debited is the preference dividend. Now, in terms of our calculation, the rate is 10%, and it is 10% of the value of the preference shares, and that gives us a value of $20,000. We have that information relating to our preference dividend, but we also were told that the common shareholders receive dividend as well. So we're going to look back at that information so that we can pick up the correct value. So what we're seeing is that the common shareholders get $15 per share as their dividend. This $15 per share is important. Remember, it is per share. So we're going to move up to the balances to determine the number of shares that are outstanding. And that would indicate the number of shares that we are paying the dividend on. Remember, we do not use the authorized shares to distribute dividend. So our focus is going to be on the number of shares that were sold and the number of shares sold are 20,000 shares. And remember it stated, the transaction indicated $15 per share. So we're not looking at the value. We're not looking at the authorized shares capital. We're focused in on the amount of shares that were sold. So we're gonna move into making the journal entries. And that is, Common share dividend, our calculation is $15 multiplied by the number of common shares that were sold. And that gives us a value of $300,000 for the common share dividend. So in total, what did we pay out as dividend? Preference dividend, $20,000. And common share dividend is $300,000. That gives us a value of $320,000. 
And this is now indicating that our cash decreases by 320,000. So therefore there's a credit entry as it relates to cash. June 30th, 2019. And it reads 5,000 preferred shares were sold at $14 per share. So the business issued 5,000 preference shares. Now, in terms of the information given in the list of balances, we were told that the preference shares is no par. So they are no par value. So it therefore means that when we issue these shares, these are to be sold at the value at which they were sold for. And our journal entry to reflect that is June 30th, account to be debited cash because we have sold those shares receiving cash. There's an increase in cash. In terms of the value, it is the number of shares sold, which is 5,000 multiplied by $14 because each share was sold for $14. This gives us a value of $70,000. In terms of the account to be credited, we're seeing an increase in the preference share capital. So therefore, our preference share capital there is credited and the value that it increases by is $70,000. So that is for June 30th. And remember, there wasn't any par value, so therefore we sold the shares for the actual value each of them cost. And we are going to move into the next transaction. And that transaction is September 1st, 2019. And this transaction reads, VM Corp exercised the option to acquire the office building where it operates for $300,000 in exchange for 1,250 new common shares. What this is saying is that the business purchased the building and they use shares as a method of payment and the shares that they use were common shares. But in terms of this, we're going to pick up some information from the list of balances. And please note that for common shares, there's a par value of $200 per share. So it therefore means that we have to consider this information when we are doing our calculation. So let's proceed to doing our journal entries for that. And that is September 1st. The account to be debited is buildings because the business purchased buildings. That, that's an increase in that asset. The value of the building or the value paid for the building is $300,000. Now, there were 1,250 common shares that were sold. In this case, there's an increase in the common stock. So common shares and the, the amount sold were 1,250, but there is a par value of $200. So it is 1,250, which is the number of shares sold, multiply by the power value and that gives us a value of 250,000. So we're seeing an increase in the common share capital of $250,000. Now, when you compare your debit value with the credit value, we'd notice that the debit is in, ex in excess of $50,000. That 50,000 is representing the share premium. Why? Because the shares were sold above par. And to determine our share premium, it is simply the 300,000 minus the 250,000, which gives us a value of $50,000. So our additional paid in capital is $50,000. And you realize that once you make that entry, both debit and credit now equals for that transaction. We're going to move into the next transaction, which is December 31st, 2019. And this transaction reads, December 31st, 2019, the land owned by VM Corp was recently appraised and the excess of the appraised amount over the current book value of the land was 225,000. We're going to meet this entry in the journal. And that is simply December 31st, account to be debited is land to in to show the increased value of the land, which is 225,000. And the account to be credited there is 
land appreciation and the value is $225,000. Let's move into the next transaction. And that is December 31st. So there's another transaction that took place on December 31st. And this transaction reads, December 31st, 2019, 10,000 preference shares were redeemed at $15 per share. So this is basically saying that the business was redeemed preference shares at $15 per share. The number of shares that were redeemed are 10,000 shares. So therefore, we're going to move in to make our entry in the journal. And that is December 31st. I want to be debited as preference shares because there's a reduction in the preference share capital because the business has redeemed preference shares. And in terms of our value, it is 10,000 shares redeemed at a cost of $15 per share. And that is $150,000. And the account to be credited is what we have used to make the payment for those preference shares, and that is cash. And the value is $150,000. And that takes us to the end of this lesson where we have uh, looked at recording journal entries for accounting unit one, and that was 2021 number 1D. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.